Checking in. We'll see if we can get to our room early. So we just got to our hotel for the night in Rome. We're staying at the Roman Cavalieri. I think a Waldorf Astoria hotel. I think these are the closets. Yep. Closet, another closet, another closet. Okay, There's the same. Oh, this is a mirror. I just want to enjoy this. Have some water. Here's the bathroom. Another bidet that we're all not gonna use. <laughs> I thought that was a men's thing. Clearly not. Scale. So you can see how much you weigh after this trip. This. Yeah. this is the room. The beds are a little small. I feel like this is a full size. This is a decent size room. And then yeah, this day. is our balcony. I opened it already. I don't know what our view is. Open. What are we looking at? I don't know. You have a decent map uh, view on the yeah. left side. The front. Oh yeah, this is the front. Can go well, this is our room tour. I think they said we get the spa for free, and then you just said we had a free shuttle to the Spanish Steps, but we already went there. So, spa it is, or pool. So, what time are you gonna go to the spa? And? So, interesting conclusion with this giant mirror I showed earlier. Look what it does. So, it opens up. We thought it was a door. There's nothing behind. It's just it's basically not... a swing. So then you can just close your... <laughs> I don't know why you would need something like this, so but you look I in guess. The there and you look in the mirror here. <laughs> mirror there, mirror here. It's like there's no way out if you close that. Yeah. So I think if it's noisy. No, it's no, just a mirror. Did it say soundproof door? There's a soundproof in there. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess mirror, that's sorry. why. Just take a video. Take a video. But we're far from the elevator, so I feel like that's not even an issue. Yeah. Full soundproof door. So oh. that's what it is. Interesting. So you guys know how I mentioned leg pain earlier, like crippling leg pain. These stairs are perfect because I've had to take the elevator now, not use the stairs on the cruise ship. But since these are so shallow, I can walk down these. But we're now exploring the hotel. I have no idea what level this is or where we are. But look, it's like a little fountain. I think our goal is to get to the spa and the pool. There's a lot of big mirrors here. Oh, these are a little bit more. Those stairs are a little higher. That's a giant mirror. Hello. What's in here? So, we've made it to the pool. They have an indoor and outdoor pool. It's very humid in here, but it is also supposed to be 100 degrees, so I don't think outdoor would be much better. Actually, it feels nicer, more fresh out here. They're over there. <laughs> Emerald's over there. Oh, this is nice. No food or beverages allowed on poolside? What? What if I want to eat poolside? I guess not. Okay, this is the only pool So this is the other side of the pool. You can see the hotel this way. And then they also have showers and there's soap over there. You want to rinse off after the pool. Is there another pool? Where is this? Maybe this is another pool. Shandong Garden Spritz. Well, I'll tell you what I'm ordering. Oh, is that a champagne? Sh I don't know. But I know I will order an Aperol spritz later. What is this? Checking the level. 
Yeah, these are baby food. Oh, look, they have unicorns and lions and a little, what do you call this? Gazebo. Gazebo. Switch to point five so you can see the hotel better. <laughs> Back to our room <laughs> and they give us this. I thought that was all the free water we were gonna get. How but now nice. we have this. Mm. You have a guest room. <laughs> so I forgot to vlog lunch. It's clearly gone. I had the spaghetti with clams. Demolished. Demolished. <laughs> Demolished. The food was really good. I got an Aperol Spritz. This is the best Aperol Spritz I've ever had. I wanted the true Italian dining before we left, so that was my order. We have a view of the pool here. And there's another pool over there that I showed earlier, but we can't sit over there because apparently some association has booked out the entire area. But we can use so, it. Yeah, we could swim in the pool, but it's not like we have chairs nearby it, so it's a walk to have to swim, but it's hot so any kind of swim is amazing i have to like take deep breaths because it is so hot you're not even moving and you're sweating so much already so i'm trying to book it to the water but look at this actually it looks really nice if you look at my video oh that's my dad He's trying to find cool floaties because the water here is like kind of deep. <laughs> the pool water. My mom doesn't like deep water. She wants to be able to touch the ground. But since we're not six foot, we can't touch the ground in the big pool. So we're here at the kiddie pool, which is four feet. You can't touch the bottom anymore. <laughs> Hold on, I got Melody. Yeah. Yeah. You can't touch the bottom though. Okay. We can't touch the bottom. Yeah, yeah. I'm taking video at the same time. Pick a ball. Leilani, what's this? What's this? One, two, three, four, five. Leilani. So it is after the pool now. You can see I got a little burnt. I have massive tan lines, but I personally like that. I know a lot of people don't, but it shows you've been on vacation. So I love tan lines. We were just repacking everything, making sure we have all of our shopping easily accessible for VAT tomorrow morning. So that took a while. We now ordered room service and we're waiting for that for dinner. And as I'm waiting, I'm watching Sky Sports F1. Honestly, I'm savoring this because we don't have Sky Sports in the US. So I always watch all the F1 races on like ESPN and sometimes they don't record everything or they don't televise everything. So now I get to see it in person. I think they're covering F1 Academy right now, which is really cool. I'm following one of the racers in there. So, this is how we are ending our last night in Rome, or basically in Europe. I'm actually watching F1 Academy, and this is the driver that I follow, which is really cool. He's the only Filipina in F1 right now, so. Our room service came. My parents are just rearranging everything. But look, they set up the table so it's close to the beds for us to eat, because that's how we said we were going to eat. 
This is my food, spaghetti bolognese. I also have tuna tartare. That looks like a Ooh, lot. And then we can help you with tuna I have tiramisu over there. Oh, I actually forgot to zoom in on that. It looks like it's in ice. What is this? Is this in ice? The presentation oh, wow. is... It's a cold block. Is it actually? Yeah. Oh, it is a cold block. Wow. Huh. Wow, well, eat. Oh, yeah. My dad ordered American for our last night in Europe. Yeah questionable decision to me but look at the presentation it's like in a i don't even know what you call this <laughs> it this is our final dinner in europe airport we're at terminal three they're international big terminal because we have to do our vat refund because we're gonna check in everything because we just thought that's the easiest way and then we're gonna walk all the way to terminal one so that's why we're here at like 7 a.m. Even though our flight is boarding at 9.30, we're here extra early because we don't know what we're doing. You guys, I couldn't even vlog the VAT tax refund for one of ours because it was a lot. There's people that didn't know what they were doing and then they were holding you up. And then- Someone got yeah, yelled at. Yeah, people getting yelled at. Honestly, the person that was helping us was pretty chill, so thankful for that. Now we're in our own terminal now to do our Global Blue VAT refund because we couldn't do it over in a different terminal. Um, we were able to do the other one, Planet, because I think they only have their station over Terminal 3, so. A couple more VATs to do, the big ones. It is now 7.22. We're done with all the vet. We have a lot of time. Honestly, it's really early in the morning and the lines are already starting. So my tip to you is go really early to the airport. Cause we got here like 6.30, I think. And there were already lines and there are already a lot of people. Oh, well, I'm gonna go help my father. Look at all the luggage. It's a lot of luggage. Hello. So, we ran into another hiccup. Not really an issue, but something I feel like people should be aware about. Our hand carry on, our hand carry luggage was okay from San Francisco to Paris because the aircraft is bigger, but they wanted to check the size of ours now because we're flying to Paris to SFO, so the aircraft is smaller. So, no, we're flying from... From Rome, Rome to, to Paris, Paris. yeah. So, yeah, the plane is smaller, so they just wanted to check. They didn't weigh it or anything, although I do hear that sometimes they do that, but they really just check the size Be for sure. hours. Yeah. yeah. It was a really easy check. I just brought it over and just said, okay, that's fine. We're at the Plaza Lounge for Business Air France and I think a couple other airlines. Just eating breakfast now. We are on our way to our gate and we see this tax refund station. I think you can pass security, pass check-in, pass everything for all of them. The yellow one, planet, global blue, and they have a customs office. I also think maybe Paris might be like this, but who knows? That'd be kind of sad. My dad and I are gonna have to do tax refund. Oh, you want water? Oh no, they got water in the Oh yeah. I'm not buying water in the motor. We have water in the plate. Yeah, I still can't believe we got through with water. Oh yeah, they got through security with full water bottles. What is in Italy? I don't think airport. Yeah, in Rome. So this is all subjective to where you are. <laughs> Remember, oh when we fly out of Mel. KFC, KFC. If only we knew. No. My dad and I got Afro spritzes in the, at the bar. Oh, what? I got really lucky because for the next two hours, no one is sitting next to me as we head to Paris. Goodbye, Italy. It was fun.
Okay, we're in CDG now, in the elevator. Okay, we're going to our next terminal to E. They have those little signs up so that you don't get lost because this is a giant airport. So we've made it to our hall called K. You can see all the stores, look, all the stores. giant map someone's trying on another carte bracelet it's crazy <laughs> we're about to go home but she decided to come here We're in the Air France Lounge and Terminal 2E. Okay. We're underground. You can see. That's the floor. We're in negative one. No, not really. Yeah, negative one. The elevator says negative one. The food's over there. If y'all are looking for the big one with the big windows, the staircase, the massages, 2F. Not here. <laughs> Not 2E. To to so we're exploring some places to buy some chocolate. And we're here by the gates and it looks so cool. Paris duty free. Will they come out this end anyways? They, they will meet that. We can, we, we can intercept them. Oh, okay. Well, let's just keep walking then. Cartier did some damage. I think if I have time, I'll go over it in the plane. But I didn't want to like show everyone on in the lounge or right after we bought it. There's a lot of people around us. So I didn't want to bring out the bag. So yeah, uh, maybe go over it at the plane. Oh, this is a this is the same store we were at. We could have just cut through. True. Chanel. Um, you guys, look at the Dior. Honestly, sometimes it's like, Did should you, you just shop here, here instead? <laughs> instead of outside and having to do the, I that I refund? More people are buying here. See all the bags they're carrying? Yeah, there's a lot of people with a ton of shopping bags. They're treating this place like a mall. Yeah. Because the VAT refund is a lot to go through especially if you don't know what oh, you're yeah, doing yeah, yeah, but, but if you do it yeah. often I feel like it isn't bad so shop of preference what is this Burberry so this is where we came in this airport is crazy they even have like a sushi um, sushi boat concept restaurant and then we turn here and there's even more stores they literally have I feel like almost all like the major luxury designers and my mom's just buying chocolates from this little store. We're on a bus oh. on the way to the plane. It's like the Milan situation, except for the Milan bus, if you have priority boarding, it doesn't matter because you're mixed in with the people that don't have priority boarding. And then if they beat you to the I got it, you plane, the they'll board first. So don't waste your money. But here, I think they have sky priority on this bus. So maybe this is just sky priority people. So. <laughs> Heading on the bus to go home. This is where we are going. I have my little setup. I gotta play a round of golf. Right here, I have my shopping right here. Ooh, I'm gonna show you guys that right now because we have time, people are still boarding. Yeah. So I went 
shopping at Cartier at the Hall K part of the airport. This is not very professional of me, but if you guys want that like real unboxing and me going into detail of everything, I'm gonna have an unboxing video of everything that I've gotten in Europe. So definitely watch that to like watch a more professional version of this. But I just wanted to show you guys just quickly what I got. I have it on actually. That's the white gold love bracelet so that I can start mixing my metals because I do have some silver rings. But here it is. Don't mind the Madelines. My parents hoarded them from the lounge. This is the box. Super cute. They gave me a small one. This is it. Sorry, it's a little dark because it's backlit. But this is the bag. When I first got my yellow gold one, it was a bigger bag. But here it is. They didn't gift wrap it because honestly, what's the point? I'm already wearing it. And then it comes with three perfume samples, the travel pouch. I think that's the authenticity envelope. This is where it came in, the box it came in. Let me just show it really fast. So this is the setup. It has the little booklet and the screw in the box it came in. Obviously I'm wearing it, so it's not in there. And then another thing that they gave me is this. I feel like I had to ask for this, but it's just their cleaning kit. I lost my other one, so I made sure to mention it, but it's just the solution, a brush, and a wipe. So just to get this in really quickly before the plane starts going and it gets really loud, shopping at CDG is so seamless and easy. I was in Cartier for probably like 15 minutes because I already knew what I wanted, but they do still offer like a real boutique experience it doesn't feel like express or anything because i didn't want to shop at the airport because i feel like it wouldn't feel like a real cardia experience but it does feel like it they offer to let you try on things if you want and then it's like any normal boutique it doesn't feel like fake or anything or like oh it feels rushed because you're about to fly somewhere else highly recommend shopping at the airport because it's so nice and then you don't even have any bat tax on it so you don't have to go through the refund process. 